Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Lucy the Eternity She Wished For. I like this music that's playing right now. I don't know why, but it sounds like a music that would be like an RPG, like Final Fantasy VIII or something. Or something. They probably got this from some sort of game. I stop in my tracks. In silence, I kneel down, facing away from Lucy. Hop on. I add an explanation to make sure that she understands. That means you lightly put your arms around my neck and climb onto my back. Did you get that? So, Juinim. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I wanna just. No, I don't have to leave you. Hold on. I need to do something. I noticed that her audio is so much louder than the game's audio. No wonder. And the sound effects. So. I'm gonna go with that. Sorry if it, the, I tried adjusting the audio in the previous episode so it wasn't so loud because I, I like the music in the background but then they talked or the text happened and it was so loud so I tried turning the audio down when that happens but hopefully this is good. Alright. What is it? Let's have this. <laughs> Uh, well, you had trouble the first time, but you, obviously you're not the same girl as we first met, so obviously you know what to do. And uh, yeah, I think he does think that. <laughs> okay, I think now her audio is too low though. Hmm, but I changed the audio because I guess I no longer have to worry about being choked to death. <laughs> oh, not even gonna respond to her? Okay. I feel the weight gradually shift onto my back. For a robot, she's very light. She's probably measured to weigh as a normal girl. Yeah. Huh? Why do you Uh, no, it's nothing. Oh, the cute. Why is why is her eyes like that again? It doesn't. Wait, you can you didn't want to try and reanimate it to where she looks like she's normal instead of so you just put it to where. She, as soon as she climbs up my back, I can't help but notice a fragment aroma arising from her body. It's neither. Too intense and are fleeting, it gently spreads even evenly along my nose. Huh. It starts with a sweet, fruity sweet scent, reminiscent of a youthful girl. Yet there is a hint of sp spice akin to a mature woman. Huh? It doesn't it doesn't fail to stimulate the mind of a teenager boy going through puberty. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so. This is bad. I have never experienced something like this. Oh oh jeez. It didn't happen this morning, but why now? It's probably because of the smell. It wasn't there earlier. Duh. Feeling a little faint, I desperately tried to get a grasp of the situation. Light up the situation. <laughs> you can tell. Uh, no reason. No reason at all, Lucy. But I'm just... <laughs> that's, not, that's not fair. It's just... You're a bit... Uh, I feel a little embarrassed. I don't really. I'm a nervous wreck right now. I'm able to hold back. I decided to be honest to myself. The smell. What is it? Aha, what are you smiling about? Uh -oh. I had a feeling he, he gave her something that made her. Yeah, you need to smell good. Get the guys to like you, if you know what I mean. Not like me or anything. Because <laughs> dude said don't love, fall in love with a robot, so it, it's, you shouldn't fall in love with a robot. She takes out a bottle of perfume amongst many other makeup accessories. Jeez, that guy's scared. Really, really? No, shut up. You. No, you. He's the type of person who'd spend the whole day forcing his pet dog into different clothing. I don't know about that. If you consider that as an abuse, wouldn't this be some kind of kind of robot harassment? Not unless he changed her. But I don't... The, hmm, well, I don't know. You, you're right, you don't. All this stuff, just for a robot? What a silly guy. Shut up. I would do it. I think it... Why are you laughing? Oh, yeah, it says you, the one carrying a robot. Okay, good. Mm. Had I just been seduced by a robot? <laughs> what? Well, there goes all of my dignity as a human being. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Like I said, this is supposed to be like iRobot. I think it really is supposed to be like iRobot. Uh, no, not at all. Wait, what is what too heavy? What are you going on about now? I purposely try to sound irritated. 
It doesn't affect her in any way, however. Lucy's bomb. 무겁지 않으신가 해서요. Uh, just, just, not really. It just, it's a long walk, so it eventually gets a little bit heavy. Oh. <laughs> no. But anyways, I, 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 I want to talk about something. I noticed how, how it really is supposed to be similar to iRobot. The doctor. That's probably supposed to be the, like the guy from iRobot, the, the one that died. So, the thing where it went to like May 12th, I think that was like five months ago. And Lucy was in there for five months, and I finally found her. Something must have happened to him. And she's supposed to be like the robot that's different from all the others. She's like the new, newer version. She's probably his dreams as well. I'm going to guess that she's eventually going to start having dreams. And she, and she has emotions. So, just like an iRobot, that one robot, he, he had emotions. And my character is supposed to be like Will Smith. Because he hates robots. I don't know why. He doesn't really have a reason why, like Will Smith did. I don't, don't remember what his character's name was, but... And the Dr. Gears guy, he's probably like the one chick that was the main girl that was in that movie. Why'd the music stop? It might take you too long to... And it's just waiting for me to pick a choice. You're lighter than I expected. Well, you're lighter than I'd expected. That, that's, that's not how words work. It's you're lighter than I expected. I don't have to read hers. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what's with the what's with the sad face? Of course, I mean. <laughs> Lucy was going to No, of course not. Is that supposed to be funny? Have you been deceived all your life? It was being too rough on her. Yeah. I didn't think she'd start being so skeptical. Before I ruined her completely, I decided I decide to treat her a little kinder from now on. Good, because she has emotions now. She's like a real girl. <laughs> Aww. I had a small giggle coming from my back. Would a robot really feel that flattered to be called light? She has emotions like a real robot. I don't know. Humans can't be expected to understand a robot's heart. This is so cute. But yeah, like I said, she has emotions just like that robot and I robot. I love this game. Soon enough, the streams become immense in the orange glow of the evening sun. Hmm, what's up this music? I left it for a little bit and then it's doing this. The scenery is changing more slowly than usual today. Maybe it's because I've been carrying Lucy on my back. <laughs> Maybe. But it's not, it's not that a lot of time had passed. Winter was just on its way. Hmm. As evidenced by these increasingly shorter days. Hmm. Lucy hasn't said anything for a while. I still glance at her wondering if she's asleep, but she's not. <clears throat> Hi Lucy, how you doing? You're so cute. She appears to be lost in thought, staring at everything in sight. Aww. She looks like a child inside a pleasant dream. Aww. I can see her eyes sparkling. Oh, it's probably because the sun set. She's probably never seen it before. Is it really that fascinating? Uh, I'm talking about myself. Am I really that fascinating? I'm just kidding. This place. I'm <laughs> I'm glad. I can't say I, if I agree with that. Unlike downtown, there aren't many distractions here to keep us busy. Oh, you mean like there's nothing like to do for fun? Nor are we near any beautiful landscapes. She means a sunset. We're just walking down a play, an old street that you can find anywhere. What part of this place do you find marvelous? The sunlight? Well, she's probably... She, she probably hasn't seen any of this before. You gotta realize that. Everything? <laughs> Including me? <laughs> Wait, you remember the past? So she does remember what happened before. That whole doctor thing. So you... Do you remember the past? Why would she, wasn't, wasn't she able to go outside? Yeah. Oh, so that's what this music is for, Lucy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, seeing new places. Oh, you're not done yet. Yeah, seeing new things, that is pretty cool. I see. I can relate to the sensation she just described. Well, 
Imagine how you felt as a kid when you first saw outside, or at least from what you remember. Because there's a lot of things I found amazing when I first seen it. And like certain smells. It's like the song Stress Out. Sometimes a certain smell would take me back to where I was young. You know, that. Jeez, how long is it going to take to get home? Jeez. Yes? What is it? For what? What's with you all of a sudden? I'm caught off guard by the unexpected apology. Had she really done anything wrong? Lucy가 오늘 너무 떠들었죠. 죄송해요. No, I found it strange how Lucy was telling what kind of person she was supposed to be. If anyone other than Lucy had told me the same thing, I probably had, had laughed at them. Anyone by himself would never be able to find out what kind of person he truly is. That is true. I don't really know who I am. I know that I'm do, uh, a YouTuber who does this, who no one hardly watches. Sitting in front of a mirror reveals all the flaws of your body. Shut up. Sitting in front of a person reveals all the flaws in your, uh, in your personality. True. If you ever want to find out something about yourself, it needs to be reflected back to you by someone else. That is why attempting to describe your own personality is the same as describing what kind of person you'd actually want to be. Yeah, it'd be just a bunch of pretentious nonsense. But this is the only case, this is only the case for humans. Yeah, Lucy is an android. She's not human, she's programmed to be a certain way, that's what she meant. That's why it doesn't sound strange coming from her. So I... Sorry, th this music's actually kind of louder than she is. What are you saying? Okay, well... I didn't think the music would get this loud. So... Okay, not that low. It's like moving it a little, just... It seems to turn up on its own. That's like close to where I had it before. Your first master, but what about you said you was only I wasn't able to go outside before? Wasn't that technically your master before? Whatever. Maybe you don't remember too much. 기동이라 그런지 상당히 들떠 있기도 했고요. So, so that's what you remember. But yeah, you was excited to see me. Yeah. Yeah. She was happy to meet her meet her first master, me. <laughs> and she was happy to finally move around again. You've never served anyone else before. <laughs> served. 네. <laughs> I'm your first. <laughs> I'm her first. <laughs> oh. Is that so? So she's a new bottle that no one has ever touched. Don't say it like that, especially after I made that joke. <laughs> he does. That line of thinking sounds dirty, but that's not what I mean. What are you talking about? What, what happened? I'd hope so. Aww. 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 You are smart, Lucy. That's a lot for that little bit of a sentence. Oh. That's awesome. Same. They're probably just testing her abilities. In my mind, I found the whole scenario unsettling. <laughs> I don't know what you think, but I'm not. Th I'm thinking to Lucy. However, it's a treasured memory of her past. But there is an important qu question yet to be answered. Then why were you abandoned? I've always been meaning to ask, but I can't bring myself easily to do so. Yeah, I don't really. I ask myself why. Maybe it's because I'm starting to care about this robot's feelings. <laughs> I sure am. Well, of course I am. She's so cute. I shake my head. That's just plain nuts. Shut up. Eh, it's only because she sounds just like a real person. It's a dangerous thought. Let's get it out of my head. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. I blurred out the question. <laughs> He's like, F fine, I'll say it anyways. Then why were you abandoned? Oh, see, you shouldn't have said that. Lucy goes silent. Nothing is said for a while. 
Quietness stretches into an awkward silence. See what you did? I start to regret. I start to regret asking. I start to regret asking the question. See? Aww. Aww, with those words, Lucy finally breaks the silence. She breaks the ice. Why? Why? But why, though? I have another. I have a question. Another question. But why, though? But why, though? Oh. oh, so you want to, that, 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 that was an eternity, so you want an eternity of not that. So this is the eternity you wish for. <laughs> Puns on the title. Oh. Then one day, I came along. Lucy goes silent once more, once more. Then one day she found herself left in the dust, is what she probably wanted to say. One day... Maybe they didn't like something about her, or they found a significant flaw within her design. But I don't like the fact that they just toss her after giving her so much love and attention. Yeah, same, why would you do that? But then again, if, if they didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to have her, so... Aren't, aren't they being too inconsiderate? A small rage boils inside of me, directed at those cruel, cruel researchers with no sense of responsibility. <laughs> I know, right? But maybe that's not the case. Maybe there's a better explanation. Maybe there's a better explanation for why that happened. When I regain my senses after a few seconds, I become surprised at how angry I was. See, you are starting to care about this robot's feelings. I know I am. What was I thinking? They were just throwing away a failed experiment. The object on my back is nothing more than an impressive fake. Heh, <laughs> at least he said impressive. He called it impressive at least. She's not real. Well, she's kind of- she is real. She's just not human. But she's real. She's kind of living, I guess. It's only natural that useless machinery is thrown away, but how is it useless, though? There's no need for me to be so angry. Okay, you don't have to be, but I will. <laughs> she felt that. It's nothing. Don't, don't worry about it. And stop measuring that all the time. Come on now. It's embarrassing. Oh. Then it's an order. I ordered you not to measure or anything from now on. <laughs> wow. Mm. There is another silence, but this time, not an unpleasant one. Mm. Okay, yeah, she's doing that. Yes? You're welcome. I just can't seem to figure out this robot's train of thought. What? I have a guess it was probably about five months. Hachiman Lucia Tegam Sangrunin Tom my wooden shigan to one potato in the cocata style. Probably about five months. Chubian in order to come or more than that. That's Sarah being he took it up on opposite style. Oh, I know some she refers to herself in third person, but she's an android, so it's more normal to talk about her model name. Model name. Model name. Model name. Model name. So it's more normal for this, but with chocolate, it's annoying. Any other... My voice, I guess. I don't remember talking to you like that. <laughs> oh. It was like a soft, tender whisper, like from uh, from the lips of an angel. That's what, was that what it was like? Oh. I sure did. You're overreacting. No. She's definitely going overboard with this. Nah. I just happen to notice her while casually passing by. It might not mean much to you, but it means everything to her. Aww. Yeah, you mean like this? <laughs> There were only a few words that didn't contain any significant meaning, not to you. And it was only a moment's whim that I'd taken her home. But but I was surprised those simple actions were, were such a big help to the robot. Yeah. They mean a lot to her. Me too. I'm thankful that we did that. 
being able to say the most embarrassing things without hesitation. I guess that's one of the advantages of being a robot. Yeah, there's no- can't be really embarrassing. I can feel my face- face- fuck. I can't feel my face- I can feel my face beginning to flush. Shut up. I quickly duck in order to hide my embarrassment. Shut up. I'm gonna make you pay for what you're worth. Wait, what? I'm gonna make you pay for what you're worth. You better be ready for it. Hey, <laughs> <So, laughs> Oh, good. What's so funny? Why do you keep laughing like that? That's good. <laughs> okay, now that's less really creepy. Not too creepy though. Oh, well, she's kind of been doing this all the time, but okay. Tells me to flinch. Hmm. She feels very much different compared to this morning. Feels as if I'm carrying a real person on my back instead of a robot. Yeah, they designed her real good. I start to wonder what, to what I start to wonder what could be causing this difference in perception. Hmm, maybe because she's acting like a human this time. Was it just a placeball effect? <laughs> Probably. Or had something really changed since the morning? If something really did change, was it me? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or the robot. I continued pondering over the question on my way home. I think it's him. He changed. I never managed to come up, come up with an answer. Well, I do. Does this seem finally over? Oh, it's finally over. That's what it meant. I unlocked the front door and entered the house. It usually does that during a transition. Uh -oh. Okay, good. Six minutes passed. Unlike usual, I could sense someone's presence inside. You know, b besides the laughter you just heard? I could hear a couple voices coming from the television inside the living room. Oh, the TV. My father appears to have her tone turn early. It makes him feel uneasy. Oh, jeez, no. No, he sees my robot waifu. I mean, this robot that I brought home. I effort effortlessly remove my shoes using only my feet. Come to think of it, I was always home alone. It'd been this, it's been this way ever since I've grown old enough to take care of myself. Before that, we used to have a housekeeper watching over the place. However, that was only until I began middle school. Hmm. From then on, I was always by myself. I would eat breakfast alone, I would eat dinner alone, the cycle would repeat endlessly. That sounds fun. I could do so much recording in that amount of time. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time all of us ate together as a family. Ow, my leg. There's no such thing as a home-cooked meal in this household. Well, there could be now. I've eaten so many different kinds of instant foods in my life that I've come to memorize each, every product of eat every brand. Same. My father puts his work before family. My new mother follows my father everywhere to support him while practically ignoring me. Jeez. That is my family. At this point, it feels out of place to see someone actually at home. Well, of course, figures the one time they want to be home, I have a robot waifu with me. I mean a robot android. Or I mean a female android. My father's on the couch watching television. Oh god, what's he gonna think? Oh no. I got... I don't know about this scene. Hmm. Well, this is... A scene just passed. This is probably gonna be a long scene, so I'm gonna end this off here. All right. Well, this is fun. Can't wait to see what this guy's got to. Th can't wait to see what the father thinks about me bringing home the android, especially a girl android. I wonder if he'll even be able to tell. He'll probably think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> I'll be like, no, it's not like that at all. But that'll be in the next episode. I'm loving how close similar this is to iRobot. Uh, though you, you can't really tell that much yet, except for the obvious things. But hopefully, hopefully. It doesn't end up like iRobot in, in later on where, yeah. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know you did. And subscribe for more Lucy the Eternity Switch for. See ya.